Um, as you're probably seeing on the news uh, and maybe on the shelves and stores yourself personally, uh, there is a, certainly indeed a national crisis when it comes to supply chain. And uh, what's really driving that from just a, a national lens is that e-commerce in our country is up about 39%. And the San Pedro ports here in our backyard south of us, about an hour south, um, handle about 40% of the cargo that comes through Asia. And so you're trying to fit a highway of cargo through a straw. I think that's the best way that I can describe it. So they're looking at niche ports um, as ways and opportunities to move cargo and get resiliency back into the supply chain to deal with those choke points. So what you're seeing right now is this 39% tick up in e-commerce and you're seeing about 100 vessels in queue outside the major ports here in, in the San Pedro Basin. And there's no way that Port of Buenimi can possibly divert all of that cargo through our hub. But what we can do is put a dent in a major crisis that's facing our nation. I think a lot of people might not realize that the Port of Buenimi actually ranks in the top 10% of the nation's seaport. We're the fourth largest port in the state of California, the sixth largest on the West Coast, and now we're the fifth largest auto port in our nation. So we have a lot of built-in capacity um, to make a difference doing it in a way that we avoid congestion so we don't have problems for our community. I mean, honestly, um, in, in San Pedro, you're finding trucks lined up so they're blocking driveways and people can't get to work. That's the last thing that we want to happen here. In fact, we were ranked the greenest port in the nation in 2017 through the International uh, 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 Environmental Green Shipping Summit, or the International Shipping Summit in Long Beach in 2017. and. That's our goal is to do it, do business and conduct our uh, throughput in a way that we're sensitive to the community in the way that we're sensitive to the environment. When we first did some economic studies back in 2013, we saw that our numbers for jobs were around 8,000. Today, trade related jobs are closer to 20,000. Uh, economic tax revenues coming from port activity have grown from 117 million to 173 million, and total economic output has grown from 1.7 billion to 2.2 billion. And so we've realized this type of growth outside of what we're seeing happen in the supply chain today and all the cargo that's gotten diversion to the port uh, since this has happened uh, post-COVID-19. We actually now are in the process of updating our strategic plan. And so we have the pillars of economic vitality, uh, environment, infrastructure, innovation, and social equity. And what we find that in our community, about 13% of the people in Oxnard, in Oxnard Harbor District, are faced with poverty. And what we really wanna do through the development of the port is make sure the people in our communities are the benefactor of the job growth that we have here in the county. So we certainly wanna work and develop those workforce pipelines so they get those family good paying, sustaining jobs that are occurring throughout the trade related community in Wanimi.